a good throw. He's got a good arm. Come on, Daddy, learn how to catch the ball, will you? Good arm. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Jacob, number 12, coming in the uh, yeah. on-deck circle, his, his coach no, and trainer, getting him organized here, getting him dressed, so he's going to get a hit today. You going to get a hit, Jacob? Yeah. All right. Going to hit her hard today? Oh, good. Huh? About your youngest grandchild being an athlete. He's pretty cute. You think he's going to make any money at the sport? No. You don't make money in the sport. You make money by using your brain, not sports. Center field, getting ready for the game to start. They hit the tee ball off the tee up here, and the game begins. Thomas Frank, coach and trainer for Jacob. He's uh, he's pretty assured that his son is ready to go today. He how does he how does he look? He he look good. Is he ready? It's tough. Okay. He's looking good today. All star material. Totally. Here we go. Look at him. He's in the ready position. Has Jacob's team gotten the five runs or the three oh, outs? Most of the time. Gets the five runs. There's one team that's really tough. Though. Yeah. Yeah. They're really good at fielding, and it seems like the coaches stick their best fielder in the front. Yeah. Which really isn't fair because then they get they get some out. Okay. But usually it's everybody gets the five runs and then they switch sides. Like like this team's on their way to five runs. Come on. Watch the ball. Oh, nice. Oh, oh nice high. side, buddy. Bad pitch. Watch the ball. for yourself. Nothing. That's Nothing. exciting. Nothing. That's not much, child. <laughs> now you can start moving his moving cameras. We just came off the chair of hollow. We're in Bryson City. Steve Nicholas is going to go get himself a can opener and open his beer. I'm going to do it in a minute. Well, here's my bike back. I didn't even get a picture of the wrecked bike. Uh, April 10th, I went down. I was rear-ended. I should have taken a shot of, of the picking it up yesterday. And here's the goozy that I rode. I rented for three days. This and the other one. So we'll take shots of that later too. If you're dangerous of that thing, aren't well, you got to you got to shoot it when you uh, when you have the opportunity. Yeah. Well, this is the scene in Bryson City, sitting on the balcony overlooking the Nantahala River, smoking a cigar with Steve, enjoying ourselves. I'm going to scan around here now and stuff to see what, what's going on. Oh, there he is. He's got his little cigar going. And here's the Nantahala River flowing by. Beautiful sunny day after riding through rain from Atlanta and Georgia Park. We're on the Blue Ridge Parkway, 4,780 feet. And we're getting some nice cloud formations hanging on the mountains in front of us. Steve thought we'd stop here, take a shot of our bikes. 
my trusty gold wing and the trusty goose he's putting his hat on he's got his wimpy head he's going to keep warm but he doesn't have his cover on his top there is such a thing uh-huh <laughs> guess i never should have said that <laughs> and he's got about the same amount of miles on it he's got a cra crack crust over there somewhere hey i said you're dangerous with that thing yeah you ain't seen nothing yet it's going to get more dangerous when we get those girls tonight uh oh we shouldn't have said that right we're taking pictures of each other again. Here is the scene, and we are at 6,053 feet, highest ele elevation on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Here is the Guzzi with its cracked uh, muffler thing. And guess what we have here today? A sprinkling of snow and frost on the pines, May 12th. Because this is the shady side of this ridge here. I think I'm looking east. And just a little bit of snow on the side of the hill. The melting snow on the grass here right by my feet. There's Marky's boot from Iraq. My summer riding boots. And we have snow. It's the gold wing by the snowman. What do you got to say for yourself, snowman? Project. I can't hear you. I said, burr. That's better. <laughs> Is it running? Does it say running or something like that? It says record. Okay, when you're done with that, that was seven seconds. No, no, get me. You don't need the scenery. I got the scenery. Now, now there's a red button. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an adios, amigo. <laughs> adios, amigo. You drink too much. This guy's got a zoom lens and a half there. He is shooting like he must be getting the the buds coming out of the trees. Hopping <laughs> again here. I don't know if you can see that sign behind me, wherever it is, about another 4,700 feet. We're almost at the Mount Pisgah Inn. You can see um, for about 20 miles today. It's just a gorgeous view. I'll pan around or I'll move around. I got Steve behind me, and we just saw. It was very interesting. We just saw. Uh, blooming um, dogwoods, red dogwoods, sitting in a grove of rhododendrons, and they were looked like identical blossoms. Both these pink blossoms, they start out as little red buds, and they're just gorgeous. There are the bikes. Been performing beautifully. Steve's calling the office. It's just another day at work for Steve. They don't know where he is when he's on the cell phone. He can be any player. He can be right in Gainesville. And uh, Mr. Nicholas just test rode the Goldwing and had an interesting comparison. What was it you compared him to? It's like your car and a CJ5 Jeep. And, and which one was the Jeep? Yours. And what is yours? <laughs> Mine's obviously the Volvo. Oh, okay. <laughs> have a piece of candy. <laughs> Here is the famous Steve Nicholas just arriving at the Pinola Inn, ladies and gentlemen. Pinola, North Carolina. What do you got to say for yourself, Steve? All right, look at this. The greeting sign, the happy fella. You ran I'm it. sure you have not got me in that viewfinder because anybody that can't see a guy on a black cootsie with a yellow jacket drives right by you. Did you see me? Nope. Well, how could I see you? You weren't there. <laughs> Just look off to the side. I, I got stuck behind some uh, some cars. I was way behind you. I was not, I did not see you for uh, a long spell. But it's good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, like an hour. Is that my scotch? Or, or there's cold beer. Take your pick. Is there a reason I can't have both? Not a reason in the world. Little stop this morning to get a view. Here's a rhododendron in full bloom. And I'm just going to give you this path that we're on coming down here to d do an overlook. My buddy Steve doing his thing down there. Shooting me while I'm shooting him. This is a real pretty. They've got overlooks like this all along the Blue Ridge Parkway. you got to find some of them. Steve knows every one of them, I think. He stopped at them a dozen times real nature lover that he is on you why why not 
So I have you, you are the old man in the mountain, looking at the mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen O'Neill Nicholas. You're the old man in the mountain. <laughs> I'm the young man. Well, I don't have him with me. <laughs> the problem. Cherry Cove on our way home now. Elevation 4,327 feet. Beautiful view. It's our last cigar stop for maybe three, four weeks. We won't see each other. And there's a, <coughs> sort of a bald mountain there. Piece of granite sticking out. Beautiful scenery. Just give you a few seconds of this, folks. Clouds <coughs> are putting some shadows on the mountainside. Well, here is a look from the front. Should have gotten a picture of the, the wreck before I picked it up. Bikers here. You've been working so hard to get this house.